All right, so are we just allowed to stand soccer right now? Is that what's happening here? Sorry for forgoing my usual intro, but for anyone who doesn't know, in the last couple of weeks, Swag Kage made a video entitled Sakura Could Beat Madara, or something like that. And for anyone who doesn't know, Swag Kage is the most popular guy who talks about scaling in Naruto. And like, to be fair, I don't disagree with anything he said in that video. Like, he's totally right. Sakura has reached an insane level of power compared to what a lot of characters were at before the war arc. And even characters who were introduced during the war arc really don't compare to a lot of the stuff that's going on in Boruto. So yeah, sure, totally. Sakura at her peak versus, you know, Madara at his living peak. Like, yeah. That's a thing, theoretically. Now, whether or not she could actually win in a straight-up fight, eh, I mean, like, she's got the advantage in power and control, but not in, like, speed or versatility or technique or anything like that. And eh, she just doesn't have any unique hacks that can compete with all the unique hacks that Madara has. But, like, pound for pound, power for power... She outclasses him by miles. Yeah. But that wasn't enough, right? Like, he had to go and do, like, a 40-minute debate with someone else about it. And it wasn't even really a debate because they ended up agreeing on almost every point, but whatever. And then Six had to be like, oh, what what, what if we, we just have Sakura fight the fucking Akatsuki? Like, like, straight up. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay. And, like, at this point, I'm not sure... What kind of fucking crazy-ass Twilight Realm I just jumped into? Like, I've always kind of been of the opinion that Sakura gets more shit than she deserves, and that probably is more capable than people give her credit for, especially because, like, she's not supposed to be a super insane fighter. She's supposed to be a medical ninja. But also, people think of Tsunade as being a fairly good fighter, mostly because of her performance in the Five Kages versus Madara. And Sakura is literally better than Tsunade in every area and has all the same abilities. They even have the same summons. Like, what, what, what are you talking about? You know, in, in the debate I mentioned earlier that Swag did, there was some confusion about whether or not Sakura could break through a Susano and still deal damage to Madara. And I'm like, Tsunade did that, and Tsunade's weaker than Sakura, so yeah, yeah, she could. <laughs> in fact, I would even make the argument that Sakura could probably beat the Five Kage the way Madara did. Because let's be real, she one-shots all of them, I mean, maybe Tsunade can heal through a couple of hits, but, like, the, the... And, like, you could make the argument that she's not going to be able to keep up with Rai Kaguya or whatever, but she did blitz Kaguya, or land a surprise attack on Kaguya, but Kaguya has 360 vision from the Byakugan, so, like, how does that work? Like, it can't have been an actual surprise, because she can see in every direction all at once, so clearly she saw the attack coming and couldn't dodge it, now, granted, she was also having to worry about dodging the attacks from Sasuke and Naruto at the same time, so you could easily make the case that one-on-one -on -one she would have been able to dodge Sakura, but the fact is that Kaguya is literally hundreds of times faster than the Raikage, thousands of times faster, so even just being relative to her puts her above the Raikage by a lot. But like, even if you ignore that, all Sakura has to do is let the Raikage punch her and then punch him back in that moment. Like, that's it. And then he's dead and she heals. And yeah, maybe Inoki could get a lucky hit with Particle Style, but probably he's just going to miss and then get one shot. May literally is not worth talking about in this discussion. And Gara probably couldn't do much either. You might be able to make an argument that he could put up a shield of sand, but then you look at the panel where Sakura first unleashed her seal and her attack just leaves a crater in the ground that makes all of the biju bombs look like fucking firecrackers in comparison. Now, granted, there are other attacks later on in the war that do outclass that feat, but at that point, it is literally the biggest attack we've seen so far, and I don't think Gara's Sand is doing jack-fucking-shit to block the force of that impact. So yeah, 
Soccer is an absolute monster. No one gives her credit, and I'm glad that people are finally speaking up about it. Could she go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Naruto and Sasuke? No. Not really. There's even a lot of characters who are way weaker than her that she might not be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with because of their hacks' abilities. You know, in terms of raw strength, there's literally no one in the entire verse who matches up to her. Like, no one can punch as hard as her in the entire verse. That's insane. And when you have the kind of raw power that makes literally everyone else look like a weakling, yeah, you can win some badass fights. You can take down some really impressive characters because what the fuck are they gonna do about it? Especially since she also has one of the most overpowered regen abilities in the series. She can heal through any attack and return an attack of her own at the same time. And like, let's be honest, if you're trading with Sakura, you're losing that trade. She'll kill you. I don't care who it is. Like, like, like literally doesn't matter. She'd one shot Sasuke for sure. Now, again, in a straight up fight, that wouldn't happen. He can teleport and has like all kinds of shit, you know, like hacks up the wazoo that she couldn't deal with. But like, God damn. So, yeah, people have been sleeping on Sakura for all these years, but she's got it where it counts. And I mean, there are some other things we're talking about, like the fact that she's been developing this seal for a decade at this point compared to when she used it in the war after only developing it for like two years and it was still like one of the most destructive things in the war, you know, until Six Paths stuff was introduced. I mean, that obviously left it in the dust, but like, whatever. Or the fact that she has better chakra control than anyone else, which is kind of insane when you think of all of the like genius tier characters that have been introduced throughout the series and should in theory have genius levels of chakra control. Which means, basically, not only can she hit you really hard, but she can sustain that hitting power for a really long time because she's using her chakra super efficiently. Which means any characters that have any sort of endurance limits, like, for example, uh, Itachi before he got resurrected, are just gonna lose because they won't be able to keep up long term. Well, I mean, kind of, like... Realistically, I don't think Sakura has any tactics that would allow her to drag a battle like that out long enough for the endurance thing to come into play, but you know what I mean. That's kind of the cool thing about Naruto battles is because of all the hacks abilities and whatnot that are floating around, it gets really nuanced. Sakura may be able to hit harder than anyone else in the verse, but can she do anything else that makes her combat ability more, you know, useful? Eh, not really. I mean, she also has the speed to back it up, as shown earlier in the video, but, you know, not having hacks is a very limiting factor in this universe where most people have tons of hacks. But yeah, I don't think it would at all be unfair to say that Sakura is at least on the level of any of the Kage that we're fighting with, Momoshiki and Genshiki, like, she may not be a match for, you know, Naruto and Sasuke, but she can at least keep up with the other Kages. Like, fucking Darui? Like, 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 you think fucking Darui outclasses her? Like, come on. Come on. Or, or, or that guy from the Water Village whose name I don't even fucking remember because he just has that dumb fat sword and doesn't do anything interesting. I, I mean, I guess he has, like, some connection to the other shark-looking character in the series, but, like... Like, surely you have to admit that if they can do something to Momoshiki, then Sakura should be able to, because, like, she should at least be above the level of random shark dude from the Rain Village who only got the position because Mei retired, because Mei was literally the best option they had. So yeah, Sakura is an absolute beast who solos basically anyone in the verse who doesn't have enough hacks to get past her strength. And quite frankly, that list isn't as long as you think. There aren't a lot of hacks that allow you to bypass someone being that much stronger than you. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, thank you, Swag, for finally bringing this to the forefront so that I can talk about it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next life.
Laters. All right, thank you guys for watching that video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that dumb YouTube stuff. Follow me on all my other social media stuff. I got Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and I have a Patreon if and only if you have money to burn. And if you do have money to burn, maybe consider donating to an actual charity instead. There are always a few linked in my description, just in case. I mean, I do appreciate it, but there's probably people who can use it more than me. Me and my girlfriend play video games she's never played before on twitch.tv slash thegoldenstalfos every Saturday, sometime after 6 p.m. U.S. Mountain Time. And also, I sometimes use that channel to do challenge runs and game creation tutorials. So if you're into any of that, please check that out. Also, if you check out our streams and you like the performance that my girlfriend puts on, she streams by herself on her own channel called Awesome Possum Pie. And be sure to leave positive comments down below for my girlfriend who volunteered to edit my videos for free because she's awesome. And yeah, thanks so much for all of your support. And thanks again for watching.